When you first become a school bus driver, they put you through training. Now, every company is different. Every company is more extensive than the other one. The company I'm with now is very, very extensive. Even if you were a previous driver coming from another company, you still have to go through their training, which I never did before. I've always worked for mom and pop bus companies, you know, local companies that are owned by a husband and wife and their names on the side of the bus. And, you know, they were the type of people that I always worked for. And they sort of would just bring you in and throw you on the road. I mean, there was no really, you know, hey, you can drive a bus, you have experience. Yeah, okay, here's the run sheet. Go do the run right now, have fun. But the company I'm with now is much more corporate. They dot their T's and cross their I's. And I went through an extensive training program. Now they also give you a background check. You have to go through a government background check, which is called, uh, I believe it's called, it's some DOT thing. I, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Cle Clearing House, I think it is. I, th I think it's Clearing House. But they do put bus drivers through a lot. And if you're a new bus driver, like if you're brand new, like you're asking here, they put you through tons of training. You have to go do a certain amount of hours on the road. You have to go through uh, your permit. You have to take your driving test. And it's very extensive. So if you're thinking about becoming a school bus driver, just know they're not just going to throw you behind the wheel and be like, hey, can you drive a bus? Cool. Here you go. Got your license. Go out and do the run. They're going to put you through a lot of training and they're going to make sure that you can actually do the job right and safely.